Greetings, wanderers. Come inside before night fully descends and you were lost to the mists. Warm yourselves by the fire and let us tell you a story of intrigue, treachery, betrayal, obsession, and love. I'm Eldritch Echoes, and in this tale I am the Ancient and I am the Land. I will be your guide as we travel into the mists. With me are those unfortunates born into the domains of dread. Doomed adventurers, let the audience know who you are and who you're playing. Hello, everybody. It's me, Ambrose. You can find me all over the internet as AmChangeling, because it, it me, Am David Desaragon, this evening. You can also find me on Etsy at Thornkind. Oh Hello. yeah, last... Sorry. I was Hello. gonna say, last time I was bit by a werewolf. Yay. Indeed. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Devin. You can find me online at Sword of Sully. Then tonight, I am Thane Tarkal, the Time Mage, the Ever Hungry. And hello everyone, I am Dave, aka Twin Dead Tweets on the Bird app, and tonight I play Silas Ravenmane, our totally not a vampire fighter. And hi, uh, I am Savannah, you can find me online as Miss Miss Emo Fox, and tonight I will be playing Giselle Orfellini, um, an archon of the goddess Ezra. And we will be rejoined next week <clears throat> by our very dusty and dry uh, former mummy and our new friends. Together we are bound by the domain of Forple Tales, where you can witness dramatic tales of terror and adventure every evening of every day. We bring you chilling tales and epic adventures to amuse and delight. Come see all we have to offer at forpletales.com, twitch.tv slash forpletales, and youtube.com slash c slash tales before we venture into this tale of horror please remember that due to adult language and adult situations the story is rated m for mature and we encourage listener discretion you should we use consent in gaming and you should too shifty illusionist perhaps the weakest link give us a recap without any preparation or anything to read from um Should be good. I I can help if you would like. No. Okay, you can help him. I got bit by a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> um, we last time on this adventure, uh, Silas and Giselle had just um exited um the totally not phase um carriage <clears throat> after getting a reading um we spent the night um among the vistani um and in the morning uh we accepted some deals to get a map uh we're gonna go buy a toy <laughs> for a birthday party for a birthday um and insert town name here um and yeah we we hit the road and we came upon a man who was uh, tied to a tree. Uh, Giselle was trying to calmly ask him why he thought he was a monster uh, when Ia Haru insulted him and he like werewolfed out and nearly like killed us. And then his kid popped out of the woods and tried to eat David. Um, very nummy. Um, apparently the illusionist is very nummy um, and what can I say I am spicy and also very sweet <laughs> a spicy sweet combo uh, Giselle uh, talked the father down who then talked the kid down and he said he was going to remember that um, and they ran off into the forest um, and that's that I don't remember much of anything else happening last session. But I could be wrong. I got the bit to play a werewolf. I am going to die now. But You're that's that's okay, I guess. Die. Curses are sexy. You'll get all the ladies now. Didn't we determine how long he had? Yes, until we it did was permanent, determine the full moon. That it was like three and a half weeks until like the next full moon or something like that. It, it was a... a a handful of time um and we 
we're going to head to Malaki. Yeah, Malaki. Because that's where Blinsky's toys is. And that's where you're at. On the side of the road. We cut very shortly after the werewolf attack and determined how long you had before you had not yet left. Left. You had not yet returned to the road because some of you got wrecked pretty hard. Yeah. I think that was just David. Man. Almost like he's the weakest link. You know what would make him stronger? If he was like a vampire or a werewolf. If only you had one of those in the party. Yeah, totally. If only. My dog just came up and nudged my elbow when you said that. <laughs> I believe it. So... Not feeling peckish for a person, are you, mm. David? No, no, I, I, not yet, anyway. Okay. Not. Pull out another yet. ration pack and start eating as we're going. I mean, would you like me to? Because I can manage that. I guess I don't. I don't. You know, I, I don't really like the thought of eating a people. Must suck to be a vampire. <laughs> suck. Uh, Why do you look at me when you say that, David? Oh no, I was looking past you. Oh, okay. Into the Thank you. the bushes. Into the bush. Oh, is there a vampire in the bushes? <laughs> Turn around. There might be. So what is um? What is the plan now? Same as it was, I would imagine. Um, yes, finding a cure right away. Everything else is just not as important. David, we can. I'm sure we can potentially locate someone in Velaki. If not, someone in Velaki might know of a person who can remove the curse for you. So then we should get going, yes? Yes, we should still, uh, there. we should still just go there. Well, I mean, we're already here. We should at least do the other thing we're here for, too. The purchasing Linsky's of toys. Yes. Yes. Um, so let's uh, all get back on the road. So you're just going to immediately head back out? Yep. Ella. Well, I mean, there's nothing we can do to fix David now. And didn't we heal him? I'm pretty sure we did. David, what is your health right now? Wait, why am I doing that? I actually can look. <laughs> uh, six out of twenty. Six oh. out of twenty. Okay, so you need some healing. So I thought we healed you. I'm sorry. I thought um, so too. Well, why don't we just? I think we healed you two six. I I got an idea. I got a good idea. Why don't we just take a short rest? We roll a couple hit dice and then we head back on the road. I have two hit dice. I mean, it's ten minutes. Okay. If we get if we get attacked again. You are probably dead. Fair. Me. Five. And <laughs> one. Yeah, better than nothing. So Yay, 12, 12 hit points. For now? Okay. Um. Yeah, I got nothing for you. Um, and... If I die, I die. Giselle heals you for an additional 12. Like total. <gasps> so okay. that should put you back up to the full. See, I am so proud of you, sister. You've learned 
to do so many things. Yes. Pats you on the head. Mm. She's like... <laughs> yes, thank you. Um... All right. Um, now you're healed. Silas, you are well? I'm fine, thank you. And Fane? I'm dandy. Okay. Then we can go back on the road. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throws? All around. What's wrong with you? Why would you? Enchantment effect. Why do you hate me so much? A two. Oh. Nine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ten. Glorious. Is it like a charmed? You you're muted. Not, you're muted, babe. No, it's an enchantment effect, but it's not a charm. Yeah. Okay. You are muted again. You head out of the forest, Giselle. Oh dear. You find yourself alone on the road. Did we really get that far off the road? I don't. The, the 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 tree wasn't that like it was like right there on the road that's how we saw the dude yep yeah i don't remember there being any forest yeah the, the map you're in is where you were at the tree is the one to the south of giselle we used this last time yeah so, okay giselle essentially went this way but but there's no one with you She, like, looks around. You see the shadows of your friends disappearing into the trees in the opposite direction. Thane, Silas, where are you guys going? She, like, tries to, like, wave at them and yell. <clears throat> the four of you hear uh, Giselle from ahead of you asking why you don't hurry up and catch up. We're coming. Well, yeah, hold Patient. your, hold your horses, please. You you hear them reply. And they're still walking the wrong direction. Yes, two of them are hurrying faster now. The other two are not. Uh. Okay. Um. Um, I guess then she's going to turn around and go run after them into the forest. <laughs> asking them where they're going. The road was the opposite direction. Uh, Giselle turns around and comes back towards you from ahead of you. And asks you, uh, why you told her to go the wrong way. The road's in the opposite direction. You and points... And points deeper into the forest, but a different direction deeper into the forest. You know, Giselle, every now and then, I think you get a little closer. It's very, very fast. But, I mean... Okay, we'll go, we'll go the way you're telling us. I go the way Giselle pointed. Same here. They turn farther into the woods, but in a different direction, but not the way you just came from. Does Giselle have any inkling of what might be going on? Make a perception check. Okay. Perception. No, I rolled a six. <laughs> You have no idea what's happening or why. Um. 
Uh, am I able to, like, catch up with them at all? Or Oh, yeah. It's just when you say things, they hear something slightly altered, just enough that their answers make sense to you. Okay. Um, so I guess I come up from behind them, and I, like, grab David's shoulder. And spin him around. I'm like, where are you guys going? Do I actually see her? Or is that part of the illusion that I don't? Oh, you actually see her. She comes from the direction you're heading and spins David around. Or not David. Uh, did you say David? Yes. Spins David around in a complete circle and says, why are you going so slow? What the, that was uh, uncalled for. What was that for? Why did you do that? I oh, oh, don't feel so good. Why are you guys going the wrong way? The road's back this way. We're going. Why are you where guys you going so slow? Us. The road's right up there. Oh. <laughs> Just calm down. Why are you in such a rush? I'm... So this seems a little silly for uh, Giselle. Can I like? also try to roll a perception? Sure. sure. My sheep. Hmm? How the fuck is... <laughs> God damn it. Hold a seven. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jeez. Uh, Giselle, um, like, pulls out a piece of rope. Unless Fane would like to do something. Oh, no. Rope sounds like a good plan. I was going to use magic. But okay. rope sounds good. Great um, plan. She ties a piece around her wrist and ties the other around David's wrist, unless he, um, <laughs> unless he bites it. Um, something's not right. Just trust me. Let's see how that gets turned around. Uh. David's being attacked by a bowl of ramen, and somehow they manage to wrap around his wrist. That's that's probably what will happen. <laughs> I just realized that was playing combat music. You're not in a fight yet. Uh, yet? Yet. You tie the rope around David's wrist, and you walk to the nearest tree. And you tie it around the tree. I need you to make another wisdom saving throw, Giselle, at disadvantage. Eighteen. Nice. You're tying the string, and you're really focused on your task, and you go there, and you <laughs> look up, and everyone looks very confused because there is string crisscrossing this forest everywhere, blocking three directions, leaving only one path forward. All of you saw her do all of this, like, really fast. Okay. Uh, this is a question that I don't know the answer to. Dave, what's your perception? character sheet so many windows open uh my passive is a 12 oh really my no, skill modifier is a two yeah i don't have a high wisdom Are, you've you've seen my character in action i do not have <laughs> yeah a high no wisdom. i couldn't remember though it's been a while uh, uh okay uh you know what yeah i'm gonna use uh wind up on myself and see if i notice something weird wind up basically gives me advantage on uh, mental checks uh giselle you look at the five foot piece of string in your hand and the 90 feet of string going, I didn't do that. Well, also, like, I was 
going like I was tying it around my wrist. How did I end up tying it around a tree? Yeah, you don't know why you did that. <laughs> oh, before I, I pick up my brother. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get on the uh, roll, Fane? Uh, you didn't tell me what to roll. Perception or wisdom? Perception, yeah. Okay. It's not giving you a new save. You're just trying to notice anything out of the ordinary. A 19? There is a melancholy, sad, enchanting song echoing through the woods. Song in the most beautiful feminine voice you've ever heard. It's bouncing off all the trees, but you can tell it's going coming from the direction that's not covered in rope and string. I block up my ears. Does that change anything? No. Hmm. I mean, you can't hear it anymore. But you're already under the spell. So which you way could roll Arcana. Like... Yeah, sure. That is a twenty-one. The magic is in your head now. Stopping the song doesn't prevent the magic from working. It's just calling more people in. She's not working on Giselle for some reason, though. The only way to get rid of it is to either escape the enchantment by removing yourself from the forest, which is clearly not working, or stop the person from singing. Whichever way looks like the right way to go, I'm going to start walking the opposite and see if it does anything. Uh... You get really confused trying to push through the strings and rope that are like everywhere. Not just in straight lines, but like crisscross, like really messy spider webs. And it gives you vertigo and nausea. You can't figure it out. Do you tell Giselle to like cover her ears or anything? Maybe it's no, the music's already in the hair. head. The music's already in your head, if it is. You yeah. could try to remove the ropes and string, but you can't push your way past them. Can I teleport past them? You could try. It sounds like a bad idea, so let's go for it. Like yes, you, said, you can bamf to direction. the other side of the ropes and string. Awesome. You feel much better. Now you just got to pick a direction. There's a tree to the north, the exact same tree to the west, the exact same tree to the east, and the exact same tree to the south. Which one do you want to go towards? Uh, They're all equidistant from you. Anything different with any of them? Nope. Clearly this is an illusion. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think I got, I think I got this. Uh, all right. I start Eldritch Blasting the trees to see if any of them <laughs> still are there. So Fane just starts shooting the forest. What are the rest of you doing from the other side yep. of the ropes? Fane, what are, what are you one, doing? One barely misses uh, Silas. Um, <clears throat> do I still know which direction is the right direction? You're not been ensorcelled yet. You've saved three times. Yes. It's not the way that Fane teleported, though. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> can I attempt to pick up? Um... Sure. Make a strength saving throw. Sure. Twenty. Uh, yes, you can pick up. David. Uh, David. She's really in a hurry to go forward, David. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> um, Giselle would like to stomp her happy ass back out of the forest. You have the same problem Fane did when you hit the ropes. Touching them gives you nausea and vertigo. Can I cut them with my longsword? You can try making an attack roll at disadvantage, but you have to put David down. No. <laughs> no, I don't. What is going on? So. No, that's in character. Giselle <laughs> is trying to balance David on one shoulder, trying to pull a sword out. David is sliding off. 
David, what would you like to do about this? While Silas is what? And the bloody hell is happening. Fane's blowing up the woods. David's falling on the ground. Um, oh, um, <laughs> 11 to hit some string. You cut some string and then they all spin. What? And then the forest moves around you. At least that's what it feels like. <laughs> and 11 is not high enough. It is all. It is obvious to everyone now that magic is afoot. It's no longer subtle. Left foot or the right foot? You muted yourself. Yeah, it keeps uh, muting tonight. It's a good question. Which one is going to hit the ground first? It's that one. Um. Hmm. And Eldritch Blast hits Giselle's sword. Does the shield have anything against magic? What shield? Um, it's a spell that I have. Oh, no. I mean, it does block magic missiles, but not anything to do with this. I'd like... Can I see where these ropes end? Perception check. Ah. <clears throat> oh, that's better. 21. They're all heading in one specific direction, and they kind of wrap around things and like make a corridor through the forest. Obviously, pushing you towards something. Interesting. Well, suppose I should head that way anyhow and destroy whatever is at the other end. <laughs> that would be Silence. fun if I actually Sil tried to destroy something. Silas, Giselle, and David, discuss amongst yourselves for a moment while I set rewards because I forgot. Also, I would like to thank It's Me, Keems, for the raid. Keems. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah. I just... <clears throat> I, I don't do good with, with trickery and going around in circles, you, so... You realize I am an Illusionist, right? Yes, I am fully aware of what magic you practice. Make a wisdom saving throw, Merida. <laughs> My yes, you heard Merida. Merida. <laughs> you heard me. Uh, wisdom saving throw? Mm -hmm. At disadvantage still? Mm -hmm. This would be a hilarious time to fail. Hmm. <laughs> Squinty eyes. Are you doing this, David? Then you shake your head really hard and go, no, what? You're not that powerful. You're weak. <laughs> You're a silly illusionist. You couldn't do this. <laughs> uh, it's trying to get in my head. <sighs> oh, you can hear the singing now, too, David. You made the perception check. Oh, there is uh, singing. Does anyone else hear that? No, I, I hadn't. What are you talking about? What is going on? It's magic. Babbling. Awful magic. The worst kind of magic. <sighs> I just... I, I say that... Am I still moving? No. You okay. stopped. I'm assuming you stopped walking when everyone started blowing shit up and trying to walk away with each other. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. You never know with him. Silas, do you have any ideas, plans, something? I have many ideas and plans, but none of them involve me getting shot in a forest 
in Barovia. I mean, for our particular circumstance in this particular moment. What? All I know is... The warlock is going crazy, firing off Eldritch Blasts. You apparently were in two places at once, and I don't know what David is doing. I'm trying to get us to somewhere. Yes, <sighs> I was also trying to get us somewhere. Well, yes, but also, so I, I think perhaps we should follow the tunnel of the rope. I mean, clearly we are lost at this point. Well, I'm always a bit lost, but... <sighs> I climb up a tree. <laughs> athletics check. This I don't is need... not the time to be playing. I don't need to make athletics checks. Because I'm a fancy boy and I have spider climb on That's time. right. Anyway. That's right. I'm a fancy <laughs> boy. I'm a spider fancy time. spider climbing boy. You can't grab a hold of this tree, though. You don't need to. Spider climb, you just walk up. Yeah, you have to be able to grab a hold of the tree, though. It's like you slide off of it like it's greased. Betty, no! That is quite unusual. <laughs> Hi, Betty. <laughs> Uh, and he always knows how to make an entrance. Yep. That you do. Major Bane. Yep. What'd I, that do? I don't know. I don't want to know. Uh, disadvantage on the next important role you make in this scene. Nothing overrides it. So, like, you can't have advantage, cancel it out. You have disadvantage no matter what. Gotcha. Don't worry. That's not one of the really bad ones. They're playing nice so far. Betty, I mean. Yeah. The really, gr the really gruesome ones are about to appear, though. I'm sure they don't have the points for that, though. Everything is fine. Okay. So, you can't climb up a tree. Fane is now separated from us by string. Um, I can't cut through it. And, David, you want to go find whatever this is. Yes, and, and cut it off at the source. Me not being able to climb a tree seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Totally. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> what are you blasting? I figure if I hit enough trees, I'll be able to figure out which one's real. Or you, 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 you might just, hit one of us. Would you just calm down with the shooting? Eldritch Blast. What? I can't hear you over all of these explosions. By the way, a song got into our heads. That's what's up. Really? I, I hadn't noticed. What song? I don't hear any song. I'll just blast. So, what is the verdict aside from, obviously, Fane choosing to do the blasting of Eldritchness? Can you, can you dispel, I mean, are we in Sorcerer? Is that the problem? It, yes, uh, it seems that we are in Sorcerer. Um, well, can you, can you do away with it? You know, I, I, I... So that's a no. Correct. I mean, my magic lends more towards combat than general purpose. Um, As does mine. Look, my my magic is important. Okay, I. I didn't say it wasn't important. I was just saying that I don't, that you don't have magic to help us, and my magic it. doesn't. My magic also. 
doesn't lend itself to help in this situation because I my magic is more geared for combat. So it seems we are up shit creek, as they say. I've never heard of this creek before. Anybody else got anything they want to try? No. Blast. Look, if you're going to attempt to blast things, point it that way. And I shoot directly where fa- where uh, David is pointing, that I can see. The other I blast you were goes say, down I... the corridor. It disappears into the distance, David. Interesting. Um. David, I'll follow your lead. My, my lead. <laughs> what if something is waiting? You know what? The, then I'll be right it, behind you. Probably to shove me into it because you're probably sick of me by now, but that is okay. Big brother will be brave. Walk in front. Right behind faint. <laughs> the Fane Eldritch blasts again. I definitely want to be behind him instead of in front. <laughs> Figure this way we're not going to run into trees. Yes. Here, let me steer you. And David's going to put his hands on your shoulders and start steering you down the corridor that you apparently can't see. Okay. You head deeper down that corridor after about a quarter mile of walking. You, uh, and the forest is closed in over top and around you entirely. It's like a canopy. Almost all light is gone, but there is light coming from ahead. There's a clearing with a house of some kind in the clearing, and it is lit up all around the outside. The colors are very fairy fire. Very dancing lights, not natural, clean light. The singing is definitely coming from there. At this point, you can all hear it clearly. Yeah, that's the enchantment. Really? I look over at Silas. You head up to the edge of the clearing, David. Not necessarily inside, but up to the edge. Okay. Do you? Or David, I didn't catch your answer. Oh, that's weird. Uh, I had said yes. Okay. As soon as you hit the edge of the clearing and everyone's right behind you, assuming you all are, yes? Yeah. Yes. I'm in front, apparently. The singing continues, but the spinning and disorientation stops, as if you're released from the magic. Does that mean we can leave mm. now? Can we go? So now we can actually see a real exit. You still just see the clearing ahead of you and dense forest surrounding you. Hello. But there, there is no obvious exit. You look behind you, and you can see where you've been coming towards, but it's a turning, twisting path. It was not the straight corridor it looked like to David. The magic pulled you the safest route through a really thick woods, but it's not like a path. You look down and you're covered in scratches and bramble cuts. No hit point loss, but like... <laughs> Ow. Couldn't have led us a little bit less scratchy a path, David? I didn't know. All I know is that that was the direction that I saw things mean- meaning to go. Anyway. You uh, also see and hear, you see eye flash and hear the sounds of hostile wildlife in the woods that apparently had been ignoring you. 
yes, you probably could turn around and leave, but you're deep in the woods. You don't actually know which way the road is anymore. And there's wolves and who knows what else out there. So yes, it's your choice. Creepy ass singing witch lady house or take your chances in the woods against the wildlife. I guess we can check the house. I Yes, I vote for the house as well. Oh, well, at least I won't die. <laughs> well, okay, but what if we go to the house and uh, whatever, whoever lives inside wishes to eat us? I think perhaps we should just, just burn down the whole forest. Isn't Hansel? Uh, passive perceptions. Twelve. Twelve. Wait, yeah, twelve. That's just to the at fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the clearing is well tended. There are three gardens, two in the front and one behind the house. The one behind the house is large. That's why you could see it peeking out from the sides. One in the back is growing food. The two in the front are growing an explosion of plants, but they're not flowers. I mean, some of them are. They're clearly it's herbal gardens. Uh, those of you with 14s recognize a variety of poisonous things and other ingredients one might use for alchemy or magic. Got a neat little cobblestone walkway up to the house, and the house is made out of what looks like brand new, freshly uh, polished and sapped wood. It's like a log cabin. It's two stories. Well built. Smells like uh, cooking bread. The windows are completely black and you can't see through them. Uh, all of the uh, individual logs and the uh, doorway itself around the door are covered in like uh, really elegant carving patterns and designs. Those of you with 14s notice in the patterns and designs every now and then something a little bit creepy, like the house you just escaped. Not the same, but like the same idea. Weird things hidden inside the pretty things. Okay. Um, Giselle looks over to the group, so... Should I go knock? I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think perhaps uh, we survey. And then if it seems oh. safe... I'm fine going to the door with you and just knocking. I'm kind of... You're not a mortal. I don't want to waste more time than necessary. We've wasted quite you, a lot you guys, already with you guys smell that forest. I just assumed, I assumed that was Dilly. The no. bread smell? Yeah. What the fuck are you smelling? Hey, come back here. Um. I knock. <laughs> as soon as you break into the clearing, the door just swings open as you head towards it. Just blackness inside, though. Even it through, is uh, Elder Sight. Uh, your dark vision I mean. stops. Like, you know, like there's nothing to see on the other side, like it's a portal. No. Nah. Hmm. That's not spooky at all. Fine. Windows? Blacked out, but yes. Same thing. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that is, and they're uh... all closed. Except for the one that has a pie cooling on it. Blackberry. I, I go to the window. Blackberry pie sitting there. It's fresh. Lattice. Wouldn't touch that if I was you. Fame, don't eat things that aren't yours. What if it is poisoned? <laughs> I'm not gonna Silas just though. chuckles when Giselle says don't eat things that aren't yours. <laughs> <laughs> You knock on the window, Fane? Yeah. A beautiful melodic voice from inside says, Come in. Have some pie if you want. I, I take the pie from the windowsill. Okay. Oh, goodness. 
It's I like back that to... pleasant warm, not too hot, but not cold yet. I, I, I walk back to everyone else. They have pie. But There's a fork idiot. taped to the bottom of the pan. Oh, Wait, fork? tape exists in Ravenloft? It does now. Adhesive strips do exist in D&D, yes. That is true. I really don't think that you should eat that thing. Uh, anybody can tell if it's poisoned? Sure. You could do a survival check. Does anybody have detect poison? Jamar does, but he hasn't joined the game yet. <laughs> Do you? Do you? No. Of course no, you don't. No, of course I don't. you don't. Look. Okay. I have, an, it... I have another way of testing. Here. What's your? Daveed, what's your? Have a pie. What's your uh, survival rating? Daveed, uh, Silas. Uh, Fane, I mean. I believe it's. Uh, yeah, you don't think it's poisoned. Uh, you hey, really want to eat it? I, I, I will roll regardless. And oh yeah, I don't oh, think no. it's poisoned. I, I, I silent rolled for you. For the actual roll. Yeah. Okay. Um, I eat pie. It is fucking delicious and also not poisoned. You rolled a 17. Nice. Huh? I look at everyone else as I'm eating pie with a mouthful of pie. You guys want some? The greatest blackberry pie you've ever eaten. About look, half of it's gone by the time I ask that question. What's your Perhaps. hit dice? My hit dice? Uh -huh. Eight. You gain eight temporary hit points. Look, perhaps it is not poisoned, but perhaps it is enchanted. The best damn pie I have ever eaten. I think you're a fool. A fool with pie. I can't argue with that. Because it's I... true. Well, if you haven't died yet, I suppose. He'll Probably you should a... leave a little bit for, you know, the person who cooked it. She sounds nice. Yes, I don't want very much. I just want a small little bit just in case I will die. Do you eat a small yeah. little bit of pie? Yes. It's delicious. You gain six temporary hit points. Ah. Okay, I Silas. suppose that's pretty good. Yes. I, I hold the pie out. Oh, no, it's thank pretty... you. Um, I'm not that hungry right now. Thank you. It's practically liquid. I haven't seen <laughs> you eat in a long time. So, are you... At the mention of that, I pull out a ration pack. Are you observing my eating habits? It's a bit strange, Devine. No, no, that is not. Uh, no, what what I mean to say is, is you this have is very, to very odd. Hey, mm -hmm. you know what? Forget I said anything. I'm just wanting to worry about you a bit. What did I do? You're just... It's just really odd that you're keeping track of my meals. No, I'm not. No, I, I just... I, what I mean to say is that it seems like you haven't eaten in a while. Which, again, seems like you're tracking my meals. No, 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 no. Do you watch that me sleep, different. too? No. That's really odd. No, you, you know what? Forget I said anything. Hmm. Yeah. Shall we? I won't comment on your eating anymore. So, uh, are we gonna go in? I, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. I mean, she makes, some, she, I think it's she makes a mean pie. She sounds nice. Uh, you first, Fane. <laughs> uh, you, you obviously 
are closer to this person and you haven't even met them yet, so please feel free. I just want to wait and see if Giselle says anything about this. Thane is walking into the doorway unless you stop him. I mean, I'm not stopping Fane. Yeah, I'm going to the doorway then. They were talking to you, Giselle. Mm. Giselle eating pie? Um, maybe. Nice. <laughs> David ate the pie too and had no ill effects. You could if you want. Um, no thank you. Um, it's it's pretty good actually here. No. Now I really want pie. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, pie here in the house. I'm not eating some pie. She said it was okay. From a house in the middle of nowhere. Technically, everywhere is in the middle of nowhere. Just depends on if there's anything nearby. And then he goes mm. in the house. <sighs> And disappears through the darkness. I follow. Disappears into the darkness. Well, married, I mean, Giselle. <laughs> Sorry, it was strange. I don't know where that name came from. <laughs> I'll wait out here for you guys. But what if we don't come out? Then I'll deal with it when you don't come out. But... Okay... I come suppose... On. I don't like the way that you say that. Do you know something that I do not know? No, I just have a personal policy of not walking into random houses in the middle of the forest. I mean, we were invited. I mean, that's like a very oh, strange... I'm not there anymore. <laughs> I'm gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It is a very specific personal rule. Well, you run into a lot of strange things in the domains of dread, so here we are. Okay, I am um, so okay. I will hopefully not die. Um. He goes into the house. Uh, the paladin remains outside of the house because the paladin is carrying uh, all the things necessary for the burial. I'm not carrying, but, you know, guiding. Are we already doing the burial? No, not of the dead children. You're escorting the paladin to Valaki. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about They're that. They're still there. They just haven't had any input for you. Oh. Meredith's character is there also. Yeah. Giselle finds a rock and sits. Uh, what would you like to do while you wait? There are herbal gardens abounding. I ain't fucking with somebody's random garden. She's sitting her happy ass down and minding her own business. Okay. The rest of you step through the portal into a well-appointed, beautiful, warm house. Hello. Hello. It seems to be empty. There's a fire in the hearth, though. I know I heard someone in here before. Hey, perhaps it was a ghost. Is yeah. is a ghost? Wouldn't be the first time. True. Hello. 
I go into the kitchen. The kitchen if is. I can find it. <laughs> everything is cooking and bubbling and as if it had been actively used recently, but there's no one in there. <laughs> the bread's in the oven, though. <laughs> the sourdough. Ooh. Is it almost done? Uh, yeah. Five, ten more minutes. Ooh, only a few more minutes until the bread's done. Oh, I think that perhaps... Wait, how do you know that? Uh, I've been your art cook, remember? Yep. Well, I forgot about that. But, um... Integral to his backstory. You know, I really don't think that you should be messing with the bread. Well, I mean, we already ate pie. Yeah, it, well, yes. And yes, I mean, but what, we what's, were a little, also... what's, a, what's a little bread in addition to that? I mean, oh, that pie was so good. I wonder how good this is going to be. Okay, but, but, listen. So, we were told that we could have some pie. We were not told that we could have some bread. Can we have some bread when it's done? No answer? Nope. Fine. I just start looking around at this point. Uh, give me a search check or investigate. There. Uh, investigation. That's a thing. Why can't I? There we go. A uh, five. <laughs> I find nothing. You find a very interesting book and start reading it. Sweet. I just sit down in the comfiest chair that I can find and read this book. Is that a good book there? Yes. I'm really getting concerned. Everything I do, you know, ask, you're like... No, 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 no. Don't get the wrong idea here. It's very odd that you keep paying such close attention to what I'm doing. Look, look, look. It is not what you think it is. You are just very suspicious and you look. It, How am I suspicious? Even, look, look, even if I were into you like that, I am a 10. You are a... Please. Four. You're, you're like a six on a good day with illusions. I beg your pardon. It's in the breeding, dear, the breeding. And you are just not up to my scale. But that was not my point. I'm flattered that you think I am interested in you, though. I'm just really concerned about why you find everything I do of such interest. And how am I suspicious? Let's get back to that. I'm just going to go investigate another room. Uh, in, enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. This, I'm reading a later. book. <laughs> yes, enjoy. Yes, I, I yes, thought was, thank you. I thought mages were supposed to be smart. <laughs> well, you know what? You know, I just forget I asked. Forget I said anything. Oh I'll see you, see you later. Bye. Uh, have it. Yes, good luck on the investigating. And somehow oh. there's a cup of tea next to me that I'm drinking while I read this book. Are you uh, actually actively searching the house, David? Yes. Investigate. Twenty-one. Uh, you actually wander through various rooms of the house and see a lot of ingredients for uh, uh, bread products. Uh, pasties, it looks like. Sourdough pasties. Made uh, quite often in this house. Uh, 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 signs that, you know, baskets were used to load them up and they were taken out of the house as if they're being mass produced and sold or fed to people. You go deeper into the house. You find the larder. Uh, 
full of all of the uh, human meat used to fill the pasties. Did I? I'll, did I'll I, just stop there. Did I hear you correctly? Yes. Did I? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Fane. Fane. Uh, yeah. What? What? The bread's the bread. The bread's done. I don't give a shit about the bread. Please come in here right now. I come in with the bread. <laughs> look, look around for just a moment. Do I see the human stuff? Yes. Look at it. Look at the bread. Look at it. Look at the bread. Take a bite of bread. Look at it. Ah! Um, I think it is uh, time to... It's really good. Yeah. You know, I think it is time to go. You hear uh, weeping faintly in the larder. As if coming from underneath of it. Nope. Is it still alive? Oh no, don't care. Time to go. David is tugging on Fane to try and get him to leave. Sure we shouldn't look? I mean, help yourself, but I have a feeling that whatever is cooking... Probably us, if we don't leave. What if it's them? What if they're down there? Hey, Silas, do you want to come with me? Sure. I put down my book and finish my tea. What, what, uh, what's, where are we going? Walk into a larder full of humans being used to create meat. Yeah. Silas has no visible reaction to that whatsoever. <laughs> Only because of where he was comes from. Are any of them alive? No, but you do hear the weeping from underneath. Downstairs then? Yeah. Okay. No, no, why would you do that? I start heading downstairs? Is that where we're going? The hatch crazy? is locked. You smash your way through it and pull it open. I won't make your roll for that. I was going to say, I do. I can pick a lock, but yeah, cool. Yeah, you could do that. Even better. You could also settle your way through. Yeah, uh, I settle. I settle through. Once you get into the cellar, there are, there are shackles here. Six sets. Two have people in them. One of them has the hale and hearty look of your paladin friend. The other one has that glazed over pale eyes have a film over them look of all, most of the people in Barovia. Hmm. It's the hearty and hale one that's weeping. They are both uh, gentlemen. Young twenties. Uh, okay. Are they bound? Shackled. Shackled. I get the shack. I try to get the shackles off of the one that's weeping, because that one clearly seems to be alive. Okay, this time you can roll to open the locks. All right. I can. Do I have to? Yes. Darn. All right. 27. I rolled a net 20. Nice. Nice. Okay. You successfully open the shackles. He basically collapses into your arms. You notice that they both have very <sighs> deep prick wounds on their fingers, as if a very large pin was used to drive deep into the finger testing for something. If it's to see if they bleed, they both did. I kind of like 
recoil as this person falls into my arms and they drop on the floor. <laughs> that wasn't a very nice. Oh, you're down here? I thought you would just be upstairs. I, I decided to follow you. Um, considering I didn't want to be left alone in a house that is full of cannibalistic meat pies. Yes. You know? Alright, well... I start unshackling the other one, or start trying to get the other one down. Okay, you succeed also as a natural 20. You can use it on both. Okay. Well, as I'm doing that, I say, um, as I, while I'm working here, do you, one of you or both of you take this one upstairs? You know, uh... I have to preserve my hands for the magic that I do. So no one is going to carry this person up the stairs. I just I just look at myself and how I am lanky weakness of a person who has been magically altered and I am weaker than most and look at the person that's I'm supposed to carry. <laughs> um yeah, I'll get right I try and pick up the arm and fail on that. <laughs> <laughs> if he tries he tries so hard um, oh god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> alright all right. Uh, let's see that wait one. am I the <laughs> strongest one here right now hold, hold on hold on with a 10 here let me let me roll and see yes, how well are. I do oh but let me roll and see how well I do here Oh, mm. I did really, really well, Dave. I rolled a four. What? I have a negative one to my strength save. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a, uh, okay, what? a strength save, I rolled a four. So, yeah. Uh, we try to drag these people out, I guess. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot try. of thumping, banging of heads on steps, cursing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you all have fatigued one. But you managed to get them both up the stairs and into the kitchen. They start coming around and they're able to mostly move on their own with like a shoulder thrown or an arm thrown around your shoulder. Thank the gods. That made me uh, hungry. Um, I started to eat some of the sourdough bread that I have. I go to the front door and try to walk through it with this with one of these people. I mean, you see some uh, what look like mincemeat pastries laying around on the counter there, do <laughs> Fane. Would you like one? No, no, no. I'm sticking with the sourdough bread. Okay. It doesn't have meat in it, I think. Silas, you're going to drag one out the door, you said. Yeah, I'm going to try if, if the door lets me. Sure. Two percentile rolls. How to roll those. Uh, 56. And a 74. Which one do you want to be you? Uh, I'll take the 74. Okay. Merida. A random person comes stumbling out of the doorway with their arm in the air like there was someone there and then stumbles and collapses to their knees looking very confused. Silas, you step outside on a hill. It's windy. You look behind you. It's a windmill. It's hmm. weird. Uh, Fane and David. He, he he left with the person. What do you do? Uh, take we we have both of them up front here. Silas took one out. All right, I will take the other out. Give me percentile and tell me which is yours and which is theirs. All right. I'll roll mine first with thirty-six, and they get a seventy-eight. Nice. You pop out next to Silas. I'm reversing it each time. Nice. Another random person stumbles out of the house looking very confused and alone. Giselle. Veed, roll for yourself. Yay. Except a hand lands on your shoulder. Oh dear, don't leave yet. Veed streaks. That's where we take our mid-show break. 
Don't go anywhere, audience. We'll be back in about five or ten minutes.
And we've returned from break. You are spun around by an elegantly dressed, beautiful young woman, David. You haven't had any tea. I invited you into my home. You ate my food. You must have tea. It's only polite. You know, I, I normally would. However, um, I, I just remembered that I have an appointment with the local uh leech man yes um are you I, ill I allow me to my... help dear well you see i have a terrible case of werewolfism do you now yes how fascinating okay i thanks. insist you stay for tea and tell me all about it iron grip no okay okay <laughs> you're very strong for such a very petite woman I'm strong in a lot of ways. Oh. Knowing look. Oh, 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 oh dear. Um, you don't. You. So I, I saw. You, you, he tries Very to pry, gen, gently pry her fingers. Open. Oh, how forward grabs your hand. Oh, oh dear. Um, so look. Full, Guides you towards uh, couch. No, please. I, um, you know, there's. Um, <clears throat> I saw that you have. Uh, you you you're making pastries with people, and I, I really don't want to be eaten. Dream pastries, yes. Only one gold piece each, and they will give you sublime happiness for a time. But why are they made out of people? They're not all made out of people. Explain. We make them from, you know, whatever we can gather that makes them taste the best. I haven't tried werewolf yet, though. Please don't. I hear that we are very gamey. I would play games with a werewolf. Knowing look sits you on couch. Um, you, you, you let, you let my friends go, um. Where, they did where... not look as delicious as you. Please, please don't eat me. I, I have, I have, eh. How do you know it's that kind of delicious I'm referring to, knowing look? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... <clears throat> so... <laughs> Normally, <laughs> I, I would not be so forward. Um, it's just, you know, I'm a little old fashioned. That's, uh, yes, we can have tea first before I show you my bedroom. Oh, you. you is there some sort of catch here? Are you secretly going to bind me to you for all of eternity if I... You know. I suppose that depends on how much fun you have. How you can fun? roll insight. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Seven... Uh, you, you're pretty sure that she just means if the sex is really good, then you might want to stick around. But no, she's not going to do anything magical to you. That'd be weird. That'd be really weird. Who would do that? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, my friends left me. My sister didn't really seem to care if I got sucked into a portal to nowhere. You seem... Honest ish. <laughs> um, okay, but what, what do you obviously you are an enchantress of some sort? I mean, after seeing Not what as you enchanting as you. Um, uh, 
thank thank you um but uh you know with with uh, what you did in the woods and with the portal with the door and the being invisible and the, the magical i just had to meet you why me I mean, you're obviously the smartest and handsomest member of this group. Now I know that you're lying. <laughs> because that is exactly the opposite of what they would say. Can't trust a vampire. I don't know what's wrong with that warlock, but he's all kinds of broken. And your sister's all like... I don't even know. Plus, I'm not... I don't... I don't I'm not... I'm not that way. I'm only into you. The other lady that's out there, she seems a little scary. Well, she was a And then the once. one, and then the one that used to be dead. Mm. Uh, wait, who was the vampire? Oh, you didn't know? Oh well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now come, let's go. Heads towards bedroom. <laughs> I, I think you mean. Let's, let's go come. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do. Oh, dear. <laughs> Flustered to be constructed to the bedroom, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Does David resist? Because the hag will not take you against your will. Um, I mean the pretty lady. Uh, I don't know. He was trying to leave, and she had an iron grip on his arm. That was only till she got you to the couch. Oh. He well, with that insight roll, obviously she means no harm. So why not? So Giselle, while your brother's banging a hag, what are you doing outside with these two randos? Um, I'm checking up on them, seeing if they need to be healed. <laughs> Um, Those finger wounds are a little intense. Like, whatever she pricked them with went, like, all the way down in. Like, you know, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, not not great. It even made me shudder a little when I thought about that. <laughs> I don't like Um, okay. Um, on a scale of max hit points to zero... How are they faring? Uh, the one who is lively and colored and the light, lights are clear is worse off. The one that doesn't give a shit, the cloudy eyes and the pale skin that isn't very animated doesn't is less injured. And the one that's more injured actually tells you it's weird. She would come up with the needle and at the time the room was full. He describes the shackle room. Mm -hmm. Uh... She would do the tests with the needle. And when she did everyone else, it just came out with blood. When she did it to him, it pulled out something that was glowing, and he's been weaker ever since. Can I roll Arcana or Religion? or? And it was him, then, that she only cared about. The others used up for parts and tossed. And then he, like, goes to take his pants off, and you're like, whoa, whoa. And he's like, no, just trust me. And he shows you his thigh. Meat's been removed. On both of them in strips. Cool. Yes, you can do an Arcana check. I mean, that's not going to do me very well because I got a zero, but... Ha <laughs> ha! Twee! This is fine. Uh, she had no idea what the other thing could have been. Uh, but she will expend... Um, to cure wounds um, on both of them. Uh, 12 healing. Is that 12? Yeah, so 12 healing to the worser off one. And. What did you get in the Arcana again? I got three. I have no idea what could be happening with that whole thing. Um, Roll religion. Yes, sir. I told you Arcana, but I forgot which character you were. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make much of a difference because uh, Giselle is dumb as a box of fucking rocks. Uh, but 15 religion. 
Uh, the animated people are full of light and life. Special lights in the darkness of the domain, like you and your friends and the rare individuals you've seen. Out of character mechanically, the ones with souls are the ones that get turned into food. The most people in Domains of Dread don't have souls. They're created by the domain to be churned and burned by the Dark Lords to feed the curse. They're alive, they're sentient, no souls. Okay. Like toys in the hands of the Dark Powers. The rare few get a soul, and they're the special ones, like you. And this person. David, who's banging a hag. Um, so... Um... Giselle makes special note of this particular person who has a soul. Um, but yeah, so the one who is um, worse off gets 12 healing, and then the other one gets 6. Um, okay. And then she kind of asks them well, where they came from originally. Barovia. We wanted more pastries, so we went to look up the ones who made them so we could ask for more when they didn't return to town on schedule. Pastries? Dream pastries. They both get this far-off look in their eyes. They're amazing. You should try them. I don't think I should. They make you so happy. I'm quite content. And then the one gets a realization, gets all pale, looks down at himself. Are they made out of me? I... Then he starts doing the... As he remembers he's been eating these. Um... Now, now, I'm, I'm sure... You know what? I don't, I don't want to know how many you've had. Um... <laughs> I'm sure you're... Fine. Um... Just, just sit, sit down and... I don't know, not contemplate your life choices up to this point. Um, the person who has a soul, um, mm -hmm. w uh, can I get their name? Uh, Donovan. Donovan. So, Donovan. <laughs> eh. I don't want that cancer. Um. <clears throat> well, my friends and I were on our way to Velaki before we happened upon. I don't know, we got sucked into the forest. They got sucked into the forest. And then I had to chase after them because I couldn't get them out of the forest. Uh, but, um, where do you come from? Like, in Barovia? Uh, he lists the street. Oh, he means the village of Barovia, oh, okay. not the domain. Sorry. <laughs> He's actually from town, where you came from. Because oh. you're not actually that far from there. No, no, we're not. Oh. <coughs> you're not, um... And the same for the other gentleman? Yes. He's my neighbor. I mean, I, at least you do neighborly things together, I guess. Um... So let's see here. Um, she looks over to the paladin. Um, do you know anything about these dream pastries? Uh, no. This is news to me. I mean, there are street vendors selling food all the time. Hmm. Well, I guess I should give them a little bit of time before 
I, I guess I should go after them eventually. Were they the only ones in there? My my three friends. And the, the one of the three cooks, yes. I see. Are they usually hostile? Looks at his legs. I really don't know. He's not being sarcastic. He's like, I didn't think so, but clearly... They were very sweet and polite and kind to me and beautiful, too. Until they started taking my meat, and then I could see them for what they really were. Terrible monsters. Um. The one in here likes to flirt a lot. I should probably go in there. <laughs> <clears throat> um... She, oh, goodness gracious, what is her name? The paladin woman. Oh, that's, uh, I was going to say Katrina, but that's not right. I'm pulling up my notes. Irina. Thank you. Irina. Irina, I, I know... We have a deal to get you to Velaki. But these... Go rescue your brother. Okay. <laughs> I'll take watch over these two. Your friends should go with you. I'm not going in that house. David can get eaten alive in a weird sexy time if he wants. That's Meredith's character. <laughs> Um, I, it's my sisterly duty to cock block my brother, so I shall go. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, Solemn Vale music plays. Anyways. <laughs> <coughs> Meanwhile, David throws crystals at the hag. Uh, anyways, uh, you head into the house. Mm-hmm. Step to the doorway and hear the intense sounds of copulation. <laughs> the house looks the same to you as everyone else, even though you've resisted the charms. So this is actually what the house looks like. It's a nice house. It's, the bread smells really good. There's there's two parts of me. One that wants to go interrupt whatever is happening. And then the second <laughs> part of me wants to sit politely on the living room couch waiting for David to walk out of the bedroom just so I can scare the bejesus out of him. I like the second one. <laughs> um, then uh, Giselle will politely sit <clears throat> on the couch not eat anything not drink anything and she lays her long sword across her legs just politely waiting for David and this mystery woman to walk out of the bedroom you other two gentlemen do you immediately turn around and go what the fuck I look around yeah I'm like what? Um, this is a windmill yeah. on a hill somewhere. This is not where you were. Uh, Fane, I think we're more lost than we were before. Um, do we recognize the windmill at all? No, but now that you've seen it, you would if someone described it or you came here again. Huh. One moment. Let me see if I can get us a bearing. And I climb up the wind, the side of the windmill to the top and look around. Uh. This one, the windows and doors aren't blacked out. And when you look through, it's mm -hmm. faded and swirly. Like someone's projecting a movie onto a wall not designed for it. And you can see the inside of the windmill, but you can also see what's still happening in the house you came from. Okay. You see David get led into the bedroom, and then you oh. see Giselle walk in. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I walk back down. Um... <laughs> Perhaps we should try going back through the door, see if we get to the house. 
I feel like the I feel like David may be in above his head. <laughs> Literally. So he's in like ankle high water. No, no. Um, it's it's just best if we go in, and I try to walk through the door. Bane, do you follow? Does anything happen? He disappears again. Okay, I'll walk through the door again. Exactly in this order. You will walk out of the bedroom, having had a great time, David. You will see Giselle. Fane and David, Fane and Silas will appear in time to see this interaction, but the, the two that they get that you don't get to say anything until the two of them do first. So like initiative. David, then Giselle, then Silas, then Fane. Go. Giselle, um... So you walk out and jump, you gotta describe this to us. <laughs> oh, yeah, he... So shirt he'll... off, still pulling your pants on. <laughs> so he's got, he's got his shirt on, it's unbuttoned, so it's open, you can see, like, just his chest and stomach and whatnot. And he's, he's busy, like, redoing his belt. Uh... Just... Uh... J Sally, <laughs> sister, <laughs> what the, what what brings you here? Well, I was told some fascinating stories about a particular woman who likes to flirt, and I knew that my dear dear brother would not be able to resist such a temptation, so I decided that I would come and assist you. <laughs> but I, I see, see that oh, no, it no. was That's... too late. I, I'm, I'm alive and fine. Um, it should be bad. We can, we can. Silas, what do you say? Hello there, David. Everything uh, work out okay? You could you could say that, yes. Hey. Uh, yes. I just I see the lady too. The woman too. No, just just David. No lady yet. But I mean, you came in at the tail end of uh, climactic sound effects. Okay, now you you don't have to go in order anymore. Now you can just have the scene. Hmm. Are you done? I swore I had a chicken in here. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. Um, I think that the uh, uh, I saw one running around. <laughs> Um, shall we go now? For an illusionist, you could make it a lot more appealing sounding. Oh, I thought I thought you meant his penis. He could also probably do that, but that is absolutely none of my business. <laughs> what supposed to make you all think that I am not appealing without illusions? <laughs> because it's we've seen your face to apply your illusions. Like makeup. David, did you know that when you fall asleep, your illusion falls asleep too? Oh, oh I was not aware, actually. <laughs> Thanks for the information. So, you know. Just, uh, By the way, you might want to get that looked at. Oh, I see you friends have returned, David. Yeah, yes, um, they, they uh, beautiful uh, woman walks out topless. It, this Giselle is my sister. Great eye contact. <laughs> hmm. And uh, th these are my friends, kind of. Uh, this is Silas, and this is Fane, and 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 Giselle over here is my okay, lovely, something's wonderful, wrong here. brave sister. Uh, what there's wrong? a lot fame there's a lot wrong here right now yeah but do you feel left out you could join in too 
I, I, they're not my types. I'm much more picky. <laughs> Giselle uh, crosses the distance. She sheaths her sword for now um, and crosses the distance um, between um, herself and David. Grabs his belt, cinches it super tight, and locks it into <clears throat> place and closes <throat> his shirt. She's like, are you done now? Yes, thank you for the assistance. It's sure I know how to dress myself. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Thank you for your hospitality. She looks over to the woman. Oh, you can't leave yet. I insist you stay because I was not done with this puny little excuse for a man. Uh, roll wisdom saving throw. Shifty illusionist as she casts vicious mockery on you. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least... Roll initiative rest of you. You didn't do it while you were in bed. That's <laughs> fair. Ah, one. What is... Okay, is there something weird with my sheet? How do I keep getting 21 exactly? Oh. I was supposed to... Oh, that, I mean, that would have been with disadvantage anyway. I forgot we had that major bane, and we were supposed to roll with disadvantage for that, for one roll. <clears throat> you were, but I haven't chosen which one yet. It's supposed to be your next roll. Oh, for the major bane, I, 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 I pick. I he specifically pick said next important roll. Next roll. He specifically yeah. added, though, when he said it, next important roll. Oh. A fan, then. Nin 19. Oh, fudge a duck. I didn't hit the thing. I'm about. Yeah, I had to reroll, too. Yeah. I'm actually on a 23, but um, I forgot to press my token. Giselle's also, on, a, on a 19. I lost the initiative tracker. Oh, I got to reopen it. Hold on. Okay. I did not know it closed. Okay, let's do that again. Do I need to click the token again? There we go. Oh, there it is. No, it just nice. takes a second when you first open it. Okay, uh, my. I just need uh, Ambrose's. My actual initiative is 19, not 11. And Ambrose's is 21. You should be able to change it yourself by clicking on your initiative. Oh. So, but I oh, rolled the that. wisdom save at 21. Uh, initiative was somehow 22. Nice. And then we lost it. As you change the map. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, it's still there. Oh. At least I can see it. <laughs> you, we cannot. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, we cannot. Oh, this map probably has. You can't see anything, can you? We can. I can see everything. We I can see us. The turn order <clears throat> blanked itself out again. No. Oh. <laughs> I know this map. You should. You made it. I did. It's very fancy. Thank you. It is. Should Your maps look so much yeah. better than the ones I build. <laughs> That's really nice. Okay. I just rolled again to put myself is. in the initiative order. You're already in here. Well, we can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I fixed mine. There. We can't yeah, I'll that. just... We can't see anybody else. I just want a picture. Having a token is nice. Uh, she would actually be over here. And Tveed would be right about here. She's 
spells in his face. <laughs> These two came through the portal, and of course Meredith is outside. There we go. That's not a door. It's a window. Yeah, I know, but I'm using it as such because I'm in the wrong room for a door. We're playing pretend with this map. I mean, we could all be in the hallway. Kind of. Hallway isn't shaped how I want it to be, though. Okay. I can't cone you in the hallway. Jeez. Wow, okay. Thanks. Silas! You act first after the failed vicious mockery. All right, sweet. Um... Wait, say it again. 30? 30, 35. The vicious mark, mockery failed. You're, you're <gasps> just highly offended. If he just. If he's probably more scared of Giselle than insulted by. <laughs> All right, I, I will that's, move. That's to, true. I will move to there. Then I will cast. Ray of sickness with an eleven. The ray shoots across the room and hits the wall. Yeah, I figured it was not going to do well. And then I kind of crouch behind the couch for some cover. You crouch Indeed. behind the couch. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll, these objects will say are all here in case you want cover. Okay. Oh, I was just, it was, it was a funny. Oh, alliteration? Yeah. Debeed. Somehow you rolled really high. It's your turn. Something. Yeah, how the heck did that happen? Don't question it. Don't, we did really have question. something, and now it's done. And now I will immortalize you forever by eating you. Um, Let I think me... he would know. That is not one of my kings. I, I... The human guy just melts away, revealing the hag. <laughs> the blood <laughs> hag. Ew, that, that seems more like what you can get. A fane! You're going to catch something. Oh, I already I believe that's already caught, caught something. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, well, let me correct myself. He already had it. I just accelerated the process. I beg your pardon? I don't have questions because I know exactly what she means. <gasps> we will talk uh... later about your poor choices. I didn't. Okay. I'm trying to look at what the spell is without my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know, I'm gonna attempt hold person on this person. Do it. I click you. Why did you not click? Oh, did oh. it? Hey, Big Dad Industries. Don't don't mind us. Over here. Nothing to see. Okay, so... Oh, that's why. Uh, so... So I'll save DC is 14. Fourteen without modifiers. Success. Anything happen on a success? The other person, or your target? Oh, um, mm -hmm. is it all or nothing, or is it like a half? They are paralyzed for the duration. Oh, that's on a success. The spell ends on the target. Wait, what's the spell? It's a hold person. One second, I'm pretty sure if they. I don't th if they uh, succeed, yeah. I don't think anything happens. Nothing happens, yeah. Uh, the magic wraps around her and slows her down for a second, but then she cackles and throws it off. It'll take more than that to stop me. Or to start me. Fane. <laughs> uh, okay. I already spent one of my two spells, so I will just Eldritch Blast them okay. at a distance. And... Let's see. What is it? Plus seven now? 
No, plus six. Okay. A 23. 23 hits. Okay, and that is... Where's my D10? Four damage. And, okay. uh... Is this door over here open? Yes, that archway leads into the bedroom. This is the hot. We're using this as a version of her house. So we're okay. calling the dining room the bedroom, and then the kitchen is still the kitchen. I am going to go into the other room so that I am, you know, on the other side of a door and not a great target, because I'll still consider myself like uh, Divi and be squishy. So you head into the well-used bedroom, okay. And use it as a doorway, yes, or as a cover, yes. It smells, yeah, it smells in here. Oh, David, darling, stick that for me. No, I'm not listening. Not listening. Roll Constitution <laughs> saving throw. Didn't she already go? No, she took the surprise action. Yes. There. Constitution. 18? Well, again. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Yep, that was your important roll. <laughs> David, be a good dog and kill. And you werewolf out. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm getting deja vu. Okay, so you can't I feel hear... like my name is Nikolai. But... From the living room, I just hear Rip David, you will be missed. <laughs> <laughs> and I have replaced David's token with a werewolf. Okay. Nice. Under my control. And then she twiddles her fingers and teleports away. Now you're fighting David. Giselle! Okay, well, I'm still gonna go with my. Uh, <laughs> Do your thing. I'm still gonna go with my plan of action. Uh, well, I was going to challenge the witch to single combat for David's honor, but now I'm just gonna fight David. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I challenged David to single combat for his own honor because he needs to calm the fuck down. Okay. Uh, David, roll a charisma saving throw for me. Now, David, I will give you the numbers, but you can still roll your dice. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Fuck a duck. <laughs> uh -oh. Did you three. roll really well? You rolled a 20. You <laughs> rolled a nat. <laughs> Good thing that was just a bonus action. Okay. Why? What else do you do? Um. Uh, I feel like this is going to get ugly, so um, I ward myself, um, and I now have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Seems wise. Silas. Yes. Hmm. David Wolf is trying to eat his sister. I mean, that's, that's not me rolling. I wanted to actually see the spell description. Wolf Veed, okay. if you will. Uh, Wolf Veed. Wolf Wolveed. Ah, lordy. There we go. That's how you do it. All right. I'm going to. I'm going to cast magic missile. Okay. Uh, so. So a total of 11 damage. All right. The missile's impact. David is now going to try to eat your face. Uh, I then we'll crawl up onto the ceiling. Okay. What's my movement? No, bad dog. A woo. Oh, okay. That's cool. Do 
speed. Hold on, I, I have to open my Ravenloft bestiary for Ravenloft werewolves, because regular werewolves are boring. Oh dear. So... I apologize now for this gif I'm about to post in Discord. Apologize for nothing. What, the werewolf lady? Yes. She's adorable. She just ripped off Nice. <laughs> I like the face and the hand. Yeah. Launches itself at the ceiling. This is like a dog after a toy you're holding up. It's just... <laughs> yes, but terrifying. <laughs> oh, okay. It's more like in the Underworld movies, where they just kind of go flying through the air, like, way too far. And smacks into Silas. Make a athletics check, Silas. Uh, where is that? There it is. A 19. 19. By one. Hit Silas. There's a momentary scuffle. Silas almost prevails, and then they go tumbling to the floor where David just starts going at him with claws. What's your armor class, David? Uh, 17. David? No, that's David. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I meant Silas. Yeah, 17. I don't know why I keep doing that. Because okay, so Dave. It's very it's good. You only take 16 slashing damage. Okay, cool. That's weird. Okay. Pain. Uh, do we really want to fight him? I mean, I would rather... Just leave him, him in here? No, we can't leave him. Are you sure? Yes. Nice. Eldritch blast him. Do it. Actually, you know what? No, I temporal displacement him, so that way, in case it works. Uh... Is this the signature spell that never works? Yes, this okay. is the signature spell that never that never. Now works is your because... moment. Yeah. Is this? Uh, and I missed, pain? so no, it doesn't. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, because uh, a eleven does not hit. Not even David, no. Yeah, not even David. Giselle. Can I can I do non-lethal damage with my greatsword? Yes, as long as you declare it. Okay, I am doing non-lethal damage to the back of my brother's head. There is a resounding slap of metal. I mean, I have to roll. <laughs> oh, the slap is happening even if you miss. Oh, okay. It's slapping in. <laughs> so does it you gives him. Does it sound like she's hitting something hollow? Uh, dirty uh, I mean, that's... yes. Yes, and that's a hit. It makes a hollow thump and a metallic wang. <laughs> not, not nine slashing? I don't know. Okay. David's been injured. Silas. Actually, David, well, on my sheet, so Silas dealt me 11. I have 20 on this current sheet. Um, that brought me down to nine. So with Merida dealing nine. That would be true zero. if you only had 20 hit points, but you have 58 in werewolf form. Now you have uh, 49. <laughs> Silas. Did I do no damage? You hit the oh, hag you in your first turn. No, I magic missile to V. Oh, yeah. So yeah, then you, you dealt me 11. 38. Okay. Oh. So I was, I was confused. Uh, I will bite and claw David 
Oh, Wait, claw the vampire is going to draw that. the werewolf's blood. Oh yeah. Are we my guy knows about my guy four? knows about vampires. Yes. He knows nothing yes. about yes. werewolves. Yes, yes, yes. Are you yes, going to yes. drain him and make the hybrid? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, yes. The plan is to drain to be dry, because okay. I'm kind of in feral mode right now. Yes. Okay. Food. I mean, you could spooky, and get some advantage. Debbie. Okay, um, yes, I will use I my spooky talk. woo. Oh, never mind. <laughs> use my spooky woo vampire powers. <laughs> you can't do it in character. It doesn't count. Ooh. This and seems cat. like a good spooky woo situation here that I have to deal with. But my claws are a 16. <laughs> Lupine, that was beautiful. Uh, base werewolf stats for this encounter. I'm pretty sure that hits. Hold on. And a 21 for my fangs. Uh, <clears throat> those both hit. Okay. So four damage as I jab my claws in. Mm -hmm. And then five piercing. Actually, I guess. Does my dueling style apply to my fangs? Sure. All right, then seven from my fangs. So a total of 11 damage. Is that dual wielding? Because you make have... opposed athletics. And don't forget to use yours at advantage, Silas. I'll do. Uh, hold on. Let me roll the proper way. I got yours, Ambrose. With advantage. All right, nineteen. Pinned. <laughs> David tries to break the grapple. <laughs> the dice are not in David's favor, so David bites back. Uh. How many hit points you got left? 24. Ah, it's not going to do that much. Oh, um, wait. I heal from the bite. Yes. So, yeah. You got an individual major boon from Lupine. Oh, me, moi? Yes, you. Nice. So, 10 piercing and make a constitution saving throw. All right. Hold on. Let me... I got to look up my character to see how much I heal, but I take damage... And this is your important role, so roll at disadvantage. Okay. okay. I can't use the major boon that I just got? Not on this. Ah. They can't counteract each other. Oh, hold on. I'm not doing it right. I gotta push the disadvantage. Oh, thing. I mean, you still, you rolled five. Oh, okay. It was on already. Yeah. Okay, cool. I got five. You now have lycanthropy. Everything is fine. Yes. <laughs> more. Give me more unholy power. Uh, Mom would be so proud. Pain. Uh, once again, signature spell. It's going Amber. to fail. <laughs> yes. That's what my face looks like every single time I cast this spell. Nothing and... could be wrong here. Nothing at all. Okay. Always... Okay. 18. That's a hit. That's a hit. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. This is your important uh, roll. You can roll it. No, I'm kidding. Shaggy, shaggy illusionist. Wisdom save. Oh, sweet. I get seven hit points back from the bite. So. Uh, shaggy illusionist. I'm not going to ruin your moment. I'm going to re-roll at disadvantage because that was a natural 20. Shaggy illusionist rolls a 15. God Yay. damn it. <laughs> Still too much? Damn. Still too much. Wait, well, let, him, I... let him have it. Wait, no, that's David. It's the werewolf of 15. What's the save? A 14. No, what's the number? What is it? Wisdom? Yeah. That's a minus one. That's a 13. It succeeds. Okay, you can't do any bonus actions. <laughs> or reactions. Is that reactions. literally all that does? Yes! It finally <laughs> worked. You've been trying so hard to do that? I yes. Mean, that could matter. That could matter a lot. You never know. Yes. That would no matter a lot for Giselle. No need to disengage. You just get to hit and run away if you are wanting to. Yeah. Giselle. I guess. Also, I think if a grapple check is done, doesn't that mean that he doesn't get to uh, react to it? Correct. Yeah. A wolf and vampire are draining each other of blood. I mean, half vampire. Um, um, yeah. nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so, um. Om nom nom nom. 
Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. So, <laughs> Giselle starts channeling um, nice. the powers of Ezra. Um, and those mm -hmm. like silver tears start streaming down her face and like a silver aura comes up around David um, and I'm going to um, curse him <laughs> with okay. the grand scheme. Um, so as an action, you choose one creature within 30 feet of you, blessing or cursing it until the end of your next turn. The next time mm -hmm. that creature is hit with an attack, the creature has mm -hmm. vulnerability to all of that attack's damage. Is that your turn? It's an action, so... Uh, well, I guess... Uh, do I have a bonus action around here somewhere? Oh. Most of my stuff's actions. It's not a bonus action based class, so you might not. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> what if I stack double vulnerability? What would that do? Oh, you're going to find out. Uh, I cast Insightful Maneuver as my bonus action against David. It's a good thing that action's not hidden, or else it'd be Tabletop Obscura. <gasps> Hello, Tabletop Obscura. Okay, so with a flash of insight, uh, until the end of your next turn, the target has vulnerability to one type of damage. I'm going to choose piercing. piercing. <laughs> Glorious. Um, additionally, if the target has any other vulnerabilities, you learn them. Silver. <laughs> okay. David. Ina has vulnerability and uh, and additional vulnerability to your drain. You mean Silas, right? Yes, I said okay. something again. I mean Silas, because it's your turn. And All you right. can't use his reaction to break your grapple, so please just roll triple damage. Oh, shit. Okay, for my bite? Yep. All right, sweet. Uh, I'm going to roll it just so I can put it on the thing. See, it did matter, David. <laughs> the and loss then... of the reaction. That's seven, plus I'm going to roll 2d4, because you said triple damage. Wow! Can I use my major boon to re-roll that? <laughs> no, triple, triple would be times three, the seven, so 21. Oh, so 21 damage. The vampire goes defeat. down as you suck it dry. I mean the werewolf. I was going to say, the werewolf goes down? Have I killed the werewolf? You, you sucked me to oblivion. That's... Okay, because otherwise I was going to use my action charge to attack again. No need. All right, so I heal 21, 21? Damage, yeah. which puts me back to full. David, shuddering and convulsing, turns back to David form. Does the death dance. Eyes go in different directions. Tongue hangs out. I kind of stand up, and I'm like, like, I had, like, none of my wounds are bleeding at this point, but my clothes are shredded. Like, whew. Sorry, sorry about your brother. Did you just eat the werewolf? He was going to eat me! Are you... So I bit him! Can I do an arcana check to see what this would mean for him? If I were... Um... This is your important role, though, so disadvantage. Okay. So is... David bleeding out. David's dead. What blood do I have to bleed? Yes. My my low roll was a sixteen. David has been and I had a net twenty. Oh, uh, you're pretty sure nothing like this has happened before, as far as you're aware. I mean, or if it has, it's been covered up. I can try to help your brother, if you'd like. Maybe the werewolf physiology overrides the vampire. Um. But he is only a half vampire, so it's fine. You can't mm. actually. Go ahead, Giselle. So I'm. So cure wounds won't work. No, he did. He's been exsanguinated. Well, I fix him. I bend down to David <clears throat> and bite my wrist and put it to David's mouth. You don't know what that's gonna help. Uh, well, Fane I've seen my mom do it. He's only a half vampire, Fane. So like, yeah. um, why? Why are you? That's not going to do anything. You're not vampire, vampy enough for this. 
have to. And then David gasps and sits bolt upright with blood red eyes. And that's where we pause until next week. Not vampy enough for this. Not vampy enough, you sick. What? So we're going to have two hybrids in our campaign. But opposites, because they change differently. I have custom for both. So everyone's a custom class now, except Fane. No, Fane's custom. Everyone but Meredith is custom. Well, I'm not really custom. I'm You're another from a different source, yeah. I like how the person who started out as like a full undead is now like the most normal of us. <laughs> hey, I'm still pretty normal. But you're oh. uh, you're less normal than than Iaharu. I'm just hungry. I'm just hungry. So am I all the time. As tonight's chapter comes to a close and we prepare to return to less misty shores, we hope. You return next Monday to continue this tale with us. But until then, our show can offer you lots of awesome things like this, but not quite on this level of turning everyone into hybrids. <laughs> After this show, Delta Green, Watcher, the end, uh, the end of part one of Eric's tale approaches. Mayhem, chaos, bloodshed, it'll be amazing. Madness. Begins at 11. Be there. Tomorrow, uh, we're on pause this week as we rebuild a new game, but starting next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, Coriolis, the Third Horizon, playing uh, a full module modified by me. What could go wrong? On Wednesdays, G.I. Joe, the Emerald Obliette at 8 p.m. They're entering into a full campaign. Joe. That is correct. Hope you like snakes. On Thursday at 9 p.m., Dark Sun, Road to Yurik. Uh, they're finally going to face off against the Abolith with some new friends. On Friday at 1 p.m., come check out Gehenna Gaming's Virtual Horror Con 2022 as Rachel will be running St. Mormo's Home for uh, Wayward Girls at 1 p.m. in Call of Cthulhu. You'll be able to see both Savannah and Ambrose there. As well as some other faces. <coughs> Later that night on Friday, we may or may not have Mongoose publishing Traveler character creation. If we don't, it will be the week after at 10 p.m. It will be on Friday. Excellent. 10 p.m. Friday, character creation for Traveler. On Saturday, our normal shows are out as we, at 9 p.m., play Cult Divinity Lost, Divided We Run. You'll see my face there. It's Savannah's. And a bunch of cool guest stars. And on Sunday, our other regular show takes a pause for uh, Don't Walk in Winter Woods, Microfile again at Gehenna Gaming Virtual Horror Con, with both Ambrose and Savannah. With me turning them into psychedelic mushroom creatures, probably. We'll see. And then next Monday, of course, we return to Ravenloft with new faces at 7 p.m., dropping up a half hour. Dropping up, yes. Falling down. Falling up. Dropping over. 7 p.m. Eastern. As they might finally actually make it to the town they're trying to get to. And then next Sunday, Hunter the Reckoning, 5th edition character creation. We missed it due to real-life stuff this week, but we won't that week. So come see what that's all about. Cass, tell everyone who you are and where you can be found between now and next Monday. You can find me playing in just a little bit uh, in Eric's game of Delta Green, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you can find me Wednesday recording Patreon stuff, Thursday recording Patreon stuff, and Friday night playing Traveler. And did, did I hear you correctly that I'm doing the Friday PHC? Yep, 1 p.m. Okay. Can you see me there? <laughs> like, uh-huh, yeah, sure. Yep, okay. <laughs> more most home for wayward girls. Tries to fix things that aren't broken, so you will be there. Mm. Well, you can find me online at Sword of Solid. I am definitely oh, okay. have been fain. Oh, wait, you're not done? You can find me on Etsy. At Thornkind. Oh, yeah. All over the internet. Stickers, buy them all. Buy them all. Buy them all. I actually just had an order, so that was cool. I have Thanks. stickers I have to get. They're oh, all uh... my computer. Okay, now good? Okay. I am Devin. You can find me online at Sword of Sullied and buy stickers. Uh, also, uh, you can find me next uh, Friday for character creation of Traveler. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave, aka Twin Dead Tweets on the Bird app. Uh, you can catch me Wednesday playing Traveler for the first time ever in my entire life. Uh, so I'm very excited for that. 
And uh, they're not playing in the game tonight, but I recommend you check out uh, Etsy for stickers from Ambrose. And also check out Odd Duck Dice. Just opened an Etsy shop on July 1st. Great dice. Hello, I am Savannah. You can find me online as Miss Miss Emo Fox. Um, And you can find me um, on Thursday for Dark Sun, Road to Yurik. But you can also find me next week. I will be joining the Tuesday cast because um, I can't turn down sci-fi. It's kind of a problem. And on that note, don't get lost in the mists. And if you're a werewolf, don't get sucked dry by a vampire after you fuck a hag. Good night! Night!